the value prop for clients is business continuity through the transition. You know, we can we can ap apply this technology today and we can apply it right through the transition and into the future. The value prop is scale, uh, unlike some of the alternative ideas that will be available in a post cookie landscape. This um, this solution is scaled across uh, really 100% of all impressions are scored by our ID free model. So so literally it, it reaches the uh, the entire internet um, or has the capability to do so. And then finally, performance. We have seen that uh, performance is not quite as good as if you knew a lot about a user, but it is uh, materially better, two and a half times better than the performance uh, in terms of cost per action uh, across a variety of actions that we've tested of contextual, which is of course the next best solution without identity um, in, in the uh, targeting model. It's a, it's been a very compelling solution for a lot of folks that we talked to. And I think you, you hit on two things that are were really important to us out of the gates. Availability. So where can I go out and find this solution? And you've done a great job, I think, prelim, preliminary relationships with folks like Xander, the expansion into the trade desk, I believe basis is a new partnership um, or a, an expanded offering now available to buyers through basis. So for us, that was major. Like that was just a simple, conversation around like, where can I turn it on? I'm already in this platform. Is it something that I can try? And having a quick yes to that, I think you, you take down a lot of hurdles right out of the gates. The second part was the ease of testing, the ease of scale. And at Cortex, as I mentioned, we needed a quick solve to help replace or help find a competitive alternative to just applying third-party segments. And where we were in 2019 was going into the DMP, going into the DSP, like every other strategy company and any other offer, and just picking what we think looked good. And as long as the pricing made sense, we we're gonna put it on a plan and we're gonna see what happens, we'll let scale. Where we've been able to move with your team is being much more intentional with the replacement of syndicated third-party data with models based off of our customers, um, first-party data. And just at that point in time, you know, for your team, there's really not much of a sale anymore it's performance and we've always been in the point of a company where we joke we don't have the luxury of working with the largest brands in the world where there's a couple million dollars set aside for eyeballs and awareness metrics you know for our customers we've always been very performance focused whether that be driving online activity a sale a lead physical brick and mortar walk-in online sales offline sales we're always held accountable to some type of return to spend metric and I can tell you that you know the offer, the offering, and the opportunity that you give us, you know, it's something that we've probably moved away. I think now at this point, third-party syndicated segments are used sparingly at Cortex. You know, we are natural extension is Axon, and then we look at distillery, um, you know, ID-based models as well as the ID-free solutions that we're working on today. So, really, really interesting to hear how our perspective very closely aligns with yours. Shockingly.